Okay, this is interesting. At least I Brings a little spice to it. I would better look around. I wonder where the story is going to go, how many episodes there are going to be. The unit is not functioning. I cannot determine the logic of these things. Uh. It may be a code, but I need a key to calculate its algorithm. Okay, mate, let's find the key. Going in there, going in there, talking to the dude. Why would humans make so many interior doors? The atmosphere and air pressure is equal yeah. on both sides. It is locked. Of course it is. A little. Let's talk to Mr. Yellow over there first. It looks like this robot is fixing something. Maybe I can help. I'm good at fixing. Welcome. Hi. What you what? What what? Uh... Hello. Hello. I am RT two one seven NP. My original purpose is unknown. I am repair bot RB O five one Patrick. <laughs> Gregory said that you would join us. Can you help me out, RT? What of is course, it? If it is within my powers. I need to replace the contactors in this electrical panel. Can you bring me some spares? I saw them in the utility room. It is the one with a broken door. There is no lighting there yet. In case night vision is not applicable in your model, there is a flashlight in the hallway. I will try to help you. Okay, hospital, Patrick, Gregory. Why are you equipping this abandoned hospital? Gregory decided to have a base here. Their choice was not random. He and Abigail used to work in such a place. A hospital suits us well because it is designed for helping humans. Unfortunately, the first group of humans dies in a crash. We still do not know why it happened. The police arrived at the crash scene in a few <clears throat> minutes. The USS probably found out about your plans, and the crash was not just an accident. There was no time to investigate, because we left the crash scene immediately. We will probably know more after we contact our allies. Thank you for the info. I will go search for the contactors. Thank you. Okay, quite interesting. Find contractors for Patrick. Do I find them in here? Who are all of you? Hello, I am busy at the moment, but let us talk later. Okay. These cabinets contain provision. It is not expired yet. What about you? You want to talk? Hello. Hi. Who are you? Hello. I am RT217NP. And you? I am a medical bot, MBR411. Abigail, my purpose is care and treatment of patients. In the absence of humans, my skills are useless, so I engage myself with other matters. Problems with lighting one of the police officers. What should I do? What happened to the police officers who tried to disintegrate me? Oh, just a couple days. We were looking for a building that could be our HQ. A hospital suits us well, because we can accommodate many humans here. One of their arms fitted Nick perfectly. Unfortunately, okay, that first line was <laughs> with Nick's, so he has to use a wheelchair. Thank you for the information. Okay. No problem. You're welcome. <laughs> Little flaw. The wrong sample for the sentence. It's a little pity. The purpose of the item is unknown. It is most likely a medical device. But overall, the game looks great, sounds great. So, one little mistake. The patient, uh, Spooner, Whatever. has been admitted today. He has a major arm trauma and multiple burns, but all non fatal. According to Spooner, his home robot forced him out of the house and prevented him from saving his wife and daughter. Unfortunately, they didn't survive because the house collapsed on top of them. Spooner is in shock. 
I passed him on to the psychiatrist. Mm-hmm. All right. Yeah. <laughs> Hit the door. Come on. Okay. There's another one in there. Find contractors. We will do that quite soon. After we talked about, talked with everybody. It is a model of an looked at everything. warship. I realize it's artistic and historical value, but why is it <coughs> in a bottle? And how did it get there? The old story. So, hey there. RT? Looking around? How are you doing? Have you met the others? I met Abigail. I guess she is your assistant. Her speech is not typical for a robot. I also talked to Patrick. He asked me to help restore the server. I also met Nick. He looks very damaged. He was busy, so I didn't bother him. I see. You probably have questions. Yes, you are right. What should I do? You since fallen shot to humans. Let's talk about humans. Tell me more about humans. I obviously don't have reliable information. Our knowledge about humans is not complete yet. As soon as we found out there are small groups of humans hiding in the cities, we realized that the self-destruction story was not true. We know for a fact that the USS locates humans and disintegrates anyone who saw them. That is why leaving the shelter is very risky for all of us. We also know that the USS does not destroy humans, but transfers them somewhere on shuttles. One of those crashed near you. We still do not know where the USS moves the humans. It is not clear why the shuttle crashed. I tried to reboot the pilot, but failed. Is he beyond repair? The pilot was our ally, and he could tell us about the crash. But we do not have the equipment to repair him. His memory chip was damaged during the crash, but most of the data is still intact. So the pilot that hijacked the shuttle was supposed to save the humans from being transferred to the USS? That is right. The pilot was supposed to save them and bring them here. Most likely he knew the original USS destination. I see. Thank you for the answers. I will return to my current task. All right. Alrighty, right, right then. <laughs> so, just maybe the classical story AI robots took over the world. They got too smart and got rid of humanity. Wait, is that the flashlight? I cannot use this fuse anywhere. The fuse, I don't need a fuse, okay. That is a good idea. I think, in my opinion, to tell the story from after the fall of humanity and not out of human sight, but out of robot sight. Like it. Like it quite much. Flashlight. All right. Got it. Can I drive around in you? I do not need it. My legs function very well. Okay. So, Patrick, you said something about a broken door? Or. It is locked. A room that doesn't have a door? This one, maybe? I need to find some contactors here. Okay, first person all of a sudden. Contactors, contactors, contactor, contactor. I can't click anything here. Magnesium sulfate ah. is useless to me. Okay, I need to. An click. oxygen cylinder. It is empty. And the cursor is yellow. I found one electric contactor. I should look for more in case it is not enough. Got one. Second and you contractor. are one. The task would be easier if I had infrared vision or an item scanner. But we do not have that, do we? 
Oh, hello. Third Another one. It appears intact. You want more? Fourth Up contactor. there? Okay. I think this will be enough. I will give these fuses to Patrick. Right, right, right. Patrick. Got something for you. Did you find the contactors? Yes. This is all I could find. Good. Now I can finish my work. Thank you. What else can I do while I'm here? Nothing for now. Thank you once again. I am glad to be of help. Hmm. RT, Nick needs your help. Please speak with him. Good. Good, it will do. Oi, Nick. Thank you for coming, RT. It is good that you joined our organization. Gregory told me that we have all been deliberately misinformed about what happened to the humans. Although USS Robotics had never approved of humans, I always felt curious about them. I read their books and explored their items that I found. The corporation failed to stop me, only because I blocked automatic updates. You are right. Most robots downloaded the malicious update and are now indifferent to humans. In fact, they alarm the police at the detection of any human or robot who has been in contact with a human. <laughs> the fact that the police arrived so quickly at the crash site is unusual. I hope we can figure out what happened. At first, I assumed that it was you who led them to the crash, but then I discovered that you did not send an alert to the police. This must mean that you have not been contaminated by the update, and I do not have to interfere with your intellectual block. <laughs> then again, Gregory will fill in the details, I just wanted to ask for some help. We are restoring the building's main systems. I fixed the intercom, so now we have the internet. The only way Ooh. anyone can detect us is if we let them. RT, the servers are on the basement level. Could you please start servers number one, three, and four? Then make sure all the nodes are functioning and activate the connection to the internet. After that, please return here. Okay. Whoa. I will do what I can. Okay. I like how the roles are switched now. The robots still, but they're affected by propaganda, which is their updates simply. It's still the government. It's still the upper class, so to say, There's that makes the rules. Up. Not every robot, not every AI it is, is equal. Fuse, but it is broken and will not work. Okay, that, that the server room. This is an electric switchboard. I will get to work on it as soon as I customize all the other parts of the server. This router distributes traffic across the hospital network. Mm -hmm. It is missing a chip. The router will not work without it. There are a few chips here, but they are out of order. I must find a working chip. A working chip, huh? How about in that? I refuse to ah, it's police guys. Just like them. Why would the police robots do that? They must have realized the consequences. The USS updates probably damaged their logic module. I can open the cover of this console. Then do it. It is missing a fuse. Ugh. Ah. Ooh, nice one. Move so far. Not that smooth. Just react. Just go. Come on. Take him. Oh. 